The purpose of this presentation is to introduce you to how the WAY program works and how it helps you to get your high school diploma. We are mostly a project-based school. There are almost no pre-made assignments and there are no tests. So without tests or assignments, how do researchers earn their credits and goals and get their, graduate, get their diploma through earning credits? Credits and grades are not determined by tests, but instead by earning state standards. Like every other school in Michigan, each class is broken down into a list of standards that everyone needs to learn. So as you can see here, here's a list from world history of several standards in the world history class. Uh, you'll be able to find them on our system. Each one of those four items you see on your screen is called a standard. And once you can show that you successfully know or can demonstrate that you have some mastery of that standard, you earn that standard and you get a little piece of the credit. Think of the standards as a checklist. In all the world history, for example, uh, world history class, you would need 70% of the standards in that class to earn full credit for the class. And that's the same with every other class in the system. You need 70% of all the standards in that class to earn full credit for the class. So let's use world history as an example. Now for example, world history, the state of Michigan has determined that there's 58 standards. So 70% of that, you would need 41 state standards to get the credit for world history. So that shows you what you need to do to get the full credit for world history. How do you get various grades in the system? You need to show what you know in order to earn the credit and get the grades at one of three levels. At level one, which gets you a C, you have to show basic knowledge of the standard. At level two, you have to show a little bit of depth of knowledge. And at level three, for an A, you would need to show um, a good mastery of the standard and be able to apply it in a real world situation. So the level one, two, or three helps you determine the grade that you will earn. Uh, note that you cannot earn less than a C grade in the system. There are no D's and there are no F's. So to start a project you would use our HERO system which is our software based system that Way uses for students to earn their credits. So let's look at an example of what this might look like if you were to start a project in the HERO system. Let's look at if we got into our computers and you were on the system what HERO might look like and let's look at that in terms of world history. So here's what uh, you would see for instance if you clicked into world history in our HERO system you would see a list of projects. Now you can only see a small part of this, but uh, this list of projects, uh, there might be uh, 20 or 25 projects. I've shown you a few here, and I've emphasized the project called Apocalypse Now or Later. It gives you a little um, summary of the project, and it shows you, uh, for you as a student, um, how many state standards, see where it says awards, there are three state standards available for this project, and it shows at this point you haven't earned any of the state standards yet, which makes sense because you're just getting started. You see the little globe there um, in the box that shows you uh, that it's a social studies standard, and it also shows you that it's not rated. Other researchers can rate the project when they've completed it, so they might give it anywhere from one to five globes uh, or light bulbs to show um, how good they think the project is. So you might, let's say we, we chose that project, what would we see uh, next? Here's the um, introductory page for that project. It will show you up there with the arrows uh, a project overview. That's the screen we see right now. And then it'll show there are two modules or sections of this project. And then there's also a page where you can show your, it'll ask you to show your final product. So it'll give you an introduction, this page will, uh, perhaps a video and some description what the project's about. 
and hum how you might want to complete that. Each module counts as a separate project in and of itself. Do you have to do both modules? No, but you probably won't earn as many state standards. The more modules you do, the more state standards that you'll earn um, in the project. And then the final project shows how to wrap it up to make sure that you get all of the state standards that you need. So each module counts as a project. The final project is where you put everything together and you're going to show what you know and really score the standards. So the final product is kind of like your test. It's showing that you really know what you're supposed to know. So it's an important part of each project. Now, how can you do a project? Well, basically, um, about any way you can think of. Uh, many researchers use a written piece. Some create slideshows like this one that you're seeing. They might make a video of themselves talking about the project. They might uh, shoot a video with our video editing equipment or with a video camera that they can use. They can make an audio recording. They can make a song or a rap. They can make a web page of their own. They can make a diagram. They can also do projects and discussions right here in our lab. Um, activities done in our lab will often uh, can be turned in for uh, state standards so that they can earn more credits. So basically, you can show your project in any way you can think of um, so that you can do things in a way that interests you. When you're finished with the project, you're going to email that project to your mentor. Now your mentor is a person, they live in this area for the most part, and um, they're local people, teachers, either active or retired, um, but they will email you several times a week. Um, they're there not to teach you really, but to cheer you on, give advice, help you learn the ropes, and they send your projects along to the online teachers. Now those online teachers are called experts. Now in a day or two, uh, after you send that project in, sometimes a little bit more, but usually a day or two, you're going to get some feedback from an online expert about your project. So for example, let's say you did this project on innovation. There were three standards, and let's just give them, I'm just going to give them names like 1A, 2A, 3B, 4A. So I've got four of them listed here. Let's see how you did in this example project. On standard, the first standard you scored a three. That's the same as an A, excellent. And the second one you scored a two. The third one you scored a one, so you still got credit. There was a fourth one available and you scored a possible, which means you're not quite at a level one, but you're encouraged to try again to see if you can make a level one. Possibles do not get you credit, but yet, um, they tell you that you're going in the right direction and perhaps if you fixed up a few things and sent it back in, you would get credit. Now that's the great thing about the, the way system. There are no semesters. There are no absolute timelines. Um, and so you can turn things in and redo them as many times as you need to until you earn the credit. So even if you don't earn the standards, those standards are not counted against you. You only uh, get credit for the standards that you accomplish, but you're not penalized for the ones that you don't. You're encouraged to resubmit the project, make some fixes and changes as needed. That online teacher will give you some feedback to help you do that. And send it in again to see if you can earn standards that you didn't get the first time. And then using the HERO system, it'll also instantaneously keep track of changes in your credit. You can see here world history and, ge and geography. Uh, perhaps those um, three standards would be just about enough to score you about 10 percent of your world history credit. So there you can see 0 0.10 you're at 10 percent of your world history credit by completing that project. When you earn all your needed credits you graduate from high school whenever that is, whether it's December or May or July, whenever you get done and all your credits are accomplished, you get your high school diploma and you can move on with whatever it is that you want to do. Now let's look at what we require in the program. Our requirements are very simple. 
but they're also very difficult because they require a lot of self-discipline. We require two projects per week. We also require two lab visits per week during the traditional school year, although we go all year round. We require seven emails per week. That's an email a day to your mentor. They don't have to be long emails, but they just need to be checking in with your mentor so they can see what you're up to. And you need to earn one credit every three months. That works out to four credits a year, which is about two credits less than a traditional student would earn in a year. The HERO system, as we said before, is great for finding your projects, for keeping track of your products, projects, but it's also excellent for keeping you and your parents updated on your progress um, instantly at any time. So by getting on the HERO system, you'll know exactly how many credits you have, in all your different classes, which projects you've accomplished, what you've turned in as of late, how you scored on those projects. So it'll store the projects for you. Everything that you need to know will be kept in the HERO system so that you can access it, your parents can access it anywhere on the internet at a moment's notice. Now we often get asked where can you get help um, in the WAY program and there's lots of places to get help. Our most important place to get help is our online teachers, the experts. They are online 24 hours a day. Um, we have teachers that work in three shifts. So at any time on our system statewide, there is always a teacher online to help you in real time. We also have our staff here at the Learning Lab in Vicksburg who are happy to help, um, help you with answer questions, um, how to work the system, how to use your computer, uh, we can help you with various school subjects and give you some pointers, take you through um, websites that are helpful. Our mentors can be helpful in showing you the system, being able to point in directions in which you can get help. Um, other students, you can communicate with any of the 2,000 other students that are on the WAY system statewide, as well as any other staff member um, on the WAY system statewide. And of course, the internet itself, which is the greatest resource uh, we have for learning. There are many, many, many great websites that we can point you to um, to really help you find out what you need to know. Well, that concludes um, our little uh, introduction on how the WAY system works. And we hope this answers some of your questions. Of course, it can't answer all of them, but we'll try to do that in the weeks and months to come.